What's up everyone? This is going to be my second scouting report from the Madden Classic and it will be focusing on none other than Joke. In this case, I'll be pulling data from all of Joke's matchups except for his game against Chaos, which was not on stream. Throughout these five games, Joke averaged 27.8 offensive plays per game for a total of 139, 93 of which, or just below 67%, came from Gun Bunch Week. Now I know you all might be thinking, of course, he's just another Gun Bunch abuser, and while Gun Bunch may once again be overpowered, it was interesting to see how much different Joke's version was to that of Skimbo, who I talked about last week. In the case of Joke, he ended up running four different plays a double digit amount of times, with those being PA Post, Buck Sale, Halfback Draw, and Corner Strike, with PA Post accounting for around 20% of his play calls at 28 selections, and all four comprising 79 of his 139 plays for a 56.83% share. Despite this, his other 60 play calls contained 8 unique formations and 15 unique plays, the vast majority of which were running plays, as you can see. Joke certainly seemed most comfortable passing out of a small subset of plays, and mainly used formation changes to run the football aside from times when it seemed he had game planned certain passing plays into the script, such as curl flat against Tweez, which he called six times and then never called it again for the rest of the tournament, or bunch trail in the grand finals against Skimbo, in which he called it five times, as opposed to only three other times in the rest of his games combined. Statistically, Joke led a rather balanced attack, looking at about a 43 to 57 run pass ratio throughout this five game stretch where every game was rather competitive. Joke ended the tournament going 49 of 71 with 619 yards through the air while looking at a 69.01% completion percentage, which would currently be good for third in the NFL behind only Alex Smith and Drew Brees. The interesting thing is that Joke actually switched from using the Falcons throughout the group stage to using the Seahawks in the bracket stage, a switch that most would think is for the defensive side of the ball, shout out to the Avengers. However, the biggest change came in Joke's passing game, where he went from averaging 91 yards per game with Matty Ice and the Falcons to throwing for 148.3 yards per game on the final day with Russ and the Seahawks. Several factors could have played into this. My best guess being him having his lowest yardage total against Duke in the group stage with only 69 yards to the air, despite going for 8 for 8, while having by far his highest total in the finals against Skimbo, where he threw for 216 yards en route to several big plays through the air, one of which was a 57-yard touchdown to Paul Richardson off of the backside post from Bunch Trail against Skimbo's cover 3 shell. In terms of how Joke approached the passing game, he did so in a different manner than the likes of Skimbo, despite admittedly running some of the same plays, namely Corner Strike and PA Post. Joe's gun bunch scheme rather focused more on motioning the far receiver on the bunch side across the formation, in which most of the time he would run a drag back across the field, giving Joke a hot read, check down, and progression read all in one. Take PA Post for example, where Skimbo would almost always block 7, Joke would often go with this dual drag setup which would result in a flat route corner route concept on one side, while a backside post attacked the deep middle along with another drag attacking the opposite side of the field. For Joke's corner strike setup, he opted to drag the middle receiver from the bunch more often than not, resulting in a flat route corner route concept on both sides of the field, attacking the backside flat with a drag from the other side. Last but not least, and one of the more unique plays in Joke's arsenal that you don't see many other competitors running, was Buck Sale. Once again, a motion drag is used and the defense is flooded opposite the direction of the motion, where the primary reads are either the drag as it crosses the field using the tight end and the flat to pull defenders toward the sideline to open itself up, or the post behind it which crosses the formation, resulting in what is essentially a delayed flood concept. This series clearly highlights the differences between a scheme like Jokes and Skimbos, both in play setup and motion patterns. The one area Joke did struggle in offensively, albeit he did not face the situation often, was on third down. He ended up going 4 of 15 on third downs, leaving him with a 26.67% conversion rate. To draw another NFL comparison, the Browns are currently last in the league with a rate of 29.51%. He was only 2 of 9 running what could be considered his trinity of plays between corner strike, PA post, and buck sale, whereas he was 2 of 6 when branching out. 
Now this could obviously be skewed because of down and distance situations, but I still felt it worth pointing out nonetheless. The positive spin on this is that Joke was only looking at three third down opportunities per game, suggesting his offense was doing a fine job of moving the ball efficiently up and down the field on first and second down against his opponents. Another fun stat I thought was interesting is that Joke's leading receiver, both when he used the Falcons and the Seahawks, was the receiver that he lined up as the solo receiver in Gun Bunch. In this tournament, those receivers were predominantly Taylor Gabriel and Tyler Lockett. Gabriel ended up with 70 yards through two games, with the next closest being Julio at 31, while Lockett concluded with 136 yards through three games, despite Richardson going ballistic against Skimbo with 103 yards in one game. He ultimately ultimately finished right behind Lockett with 135 yards. Also worth noting is that a huge chunk of Richardson's yards came when he was lined up as the solo receiver, such as in that deep post touchdown out of Bunch Trail. Definitely an interesting stat to note, especially for any competitors who would ever wish to game plan for facing Joke in the future. Now I know this video may be slightly outdated due to the Madden Classic being several weeks ago, along with the surge in popularity of the West Coast offensive playbook that you see a lot of players now migrating over towards, along with the fact that a lot of tournaments now are shifting away from regs and going more towards salary cap, such as the Madden Club Series, but I still thought that it was interesting nonetheless. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought and let me know who you guys would like to see these types of videos done on in the future. Until next time, guys, take it easy.